710 on this Saturday morning and yeah, it'll feel more like summer on this mid May weekend. Let's get to our weekend in a nutshell. Look at the number today. 82 degrees. That's our forecast high outside of some patchy morning fog and really not seeing too much as we wake up. Uh, skies will try mostly sunny, if not even sun filled. Pretty light wind as well, but we're at that time of the year where we see these warmer temperatures and a light wind where we have an influence off the cooler waters of Lake Michigan. So our lakeshore communities will be slightly cooler, probably only topping out in the middle to upper 70s compared to those away from the lakeshore. We do it again tomorrow. Look at the number tomorrow. 84 degrees and the humidity also sneaks up on us. So uh, yeah, a bit of a summer feel by far. Our 13 weather ball as a result is solid red with warmer temperatures ahead. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse. There's a view around West Michigan really not seeing too much in the way of fog skies trending mostly sunny. We are now just about an hour past sunrise. Very pleasant start a little bit on the cool side still with numbers around the 50 degree mark, but it will be a quick climb today. Uh, this will be a busy spot here on the beach in Grand Haven. Uh, the uh, Grand Haven Kite Festival today, 53 degrees. It's a calm wind right now, but I think the wind will pick up enough. It'll be uh, smooth sailing for those uh, enjoying some kite flying on the beach of Grand Haven. Look at the quick climb in our numbers today. Temperatures soaring uh, almost near 80 by noon, and most of us away from the lakeshore settling in the lower 80s this afternoon. A good 10 plus degrees above average at this point of May, and that wind remains out of the west southwest. By the way, sunset now at 902 in the evening. If there is an impact today, we do have a clean air action day, at least a air quality advisory in place for Muskegon County down uh, southward along the lakeshore, also Kent County. This is just because of the typical ozone that develops when we have these warmer temperatures. This air quality alert is nothing related to any wildfire smoke across the Great Lakes region. We don't have too much of that, at least over the next couple days. Our big picture shows a cold front to our west. This is a pretty weak cold front. This will swing in late tonight. Gives us a very small chance of a shower. We're not looking at any washout weather over the course of this weekend. Here's our hour by hour today. Uh, the sky's trending mostly sunny, if not even sun filled. Tonight, here comes that cold front. And there's just enough of a signal here in our model that we could squeeze out uh, isolated shower early tomorrow morning. I don't think much of it. It will be out of here as tomorrow morning goes on and we're left with a mostly sunny sky once again for our Sunday midday into the afternoon. But the humidity will creep up on us. We're going to see those dew point numbers climb above 60. That's noticeable for our uh, standards here in West Michigan and to the point by Monday into Tuesday, there'll be enough heat and humidity around to allow an increasing thunderstorm chance. Just some uh, typical run of the mill thunderstorms later in the day on Monday and then Tuesday. That will be the focus of our forecast with the opportunity of a few stronger thunderstorms late Tuesday. We'll see how that goes. We're going to iron out the details, but by far we'll see at least some thunderstorms develop as Tuesday goes on. 13 on your side, 10 day outlook. Notice that temperatures remain in the lower 80s, if not even mid 80s all the way through Tuesday. Our thunderstorm chance really picks up late Monday through Tuesday. We cool down after Wednesday, more typical for mid May to late May standards, upper 60s to lower 70s by the end of this upcoming week.